Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today's Tuesday, July 26, 2022. And today I am talking about the gut microbiome and COVID. Now first, just a review. Human beings are host organisms for trillions of living things, an entire ecosystem that is collectively called the microbiome because it's invisible to the human eye. And that includes viruses, bacteria, fungi, uh, and this ecosystem inhabits all surfaces of the human body, including the gastrointestinal and the respiratory tracts. It's like our body selects certain organisms to live and thrive in us. Now, this microbiome is affected by a lot of things, such as genetics and environmental factors, such as where you live, your diet, your age, whether you're sick or have an illness, if you're on certain medications, and it can change with your lifestyle. Now, our gut microbiome serves multiple important functions, such as nutrient digestion and absorption, and it has a huge role in human immunity. Now, experts have known that that SARS-CoV-2 virus, you know, those viruses that cause COVID, can infect the gut cells and that the virus can live in the intestinal tract for months. Now, researchers have also shown that gut microbiomes play a major role in COVID severity, recovery, and in long COVID. So scientists are investigating how COVID can disrupt the microbiome and how the gut bacteria are involved in long COVID. So for example, there was one study where gut microbiota from patients who had mild COVID were injected into healthy mice and they were the mice who were healthy went on to develop clinical features of long COVID. Other studies have found alterations in the gut microbiome in patients who had COVID who went on to develop long COVID versus COVID patients who had recovered. And other scientists are doing stool uh, samples to de determine the bacterial content, and they've seen higher concentrations of certain gut bacteria and long COVID patients compared to patients who don't go on to develop long COVID. So this is very cutting edge research and is well beyond the scope of this message. But what I do want to leave you with is that how important our gut biome is a healthy gut biome to our immune health and ways that we can keep our gut microbiome as healthy as possible. There's a saying, folks, you are what you eat. So it is true that the foods that we eat can greatly contribute to our gut microbiome self. Now, experts say that for a healthy gut microbiome, we should eat a diet that is high in fresh vegetables, fruits, and fiber. They also say that we should eat some fermented foods. And examples of fermented foods, depending on your tastes or preferences, can include plain yogurt, kimchi, sauerkraut, kefir, kombucha, or tempeh. Now, some of those foods I've never tried, but I may try them in the future. Experts say that we should try to limit processed cured meats because they have chemicals that can be cancer forming and potentially harmful for the healthy gut microbiome. Prepackaged foods because they can induce inflammation due to the uh, food additives and char grilling meats, in particular, burning the fat on red meats because this method of cooking can create free radicals to form on the surface of the red meat, which may increase the risk of certain cancers. So try to incorporate foods in your diet that keep your uh, gut biome healthy. That's my message today. As always, please discuss any dietary changes with your personal physician. Okay, be safe. Take care, folks. That's it.